Hey Gemini, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here for your next 48 hours tarot reading. We're going to be looking at what is coming up for us gems in the next couple of days. And this can be in relation to anything, um, anything that the cards um, want to say to you, I'm going to try to pick up here for you. So this can be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, if anyone out there is after a private reading, please email me. I am currently accepting those. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you like, you can become a channel member. That's going to give you access to bonus readings and extended versions to readings as well. So feel free to join via the join button on the homepage of my channel. Otherwise, let's jump into this and see Gemini next 48 hours. Okay, you're obviously getting your wish, Gemini. Something that you want to happen in these next 48 hours is coming to you here, but I'm seeing that you might not know how you feel about it once you get it. Okay, one more deck. All right, I'm seeing you have wished for something, but you're misjudging the situation here. You're not reading the signs that are in front of you. Okay. I'm seeing someone wants to take the easy way out of a situation. Um, I also feel like you, because of someone wants to take something easy, you're not wanting to leave either. It's like... Okay, I'm sort of getting the vibe here that there is a connection that you're dealing with and there is something that you want this person to do for you, um, Gems. How pretty are these cards, by the way? They match my candle. Winning. Okay, so, yeah, okay, look, this person, whoever this is that you're dealing with, oh, there's two cards under here. I thought they felt thicker. All right. Um, I'm sorry, but these cards really are the star of the show. Look, what I'm getting from this is that there is a current situation that you've been wishing this person to do something for you. Um, I see that they may turn around and do it, but I think for a lot of you, it's like you're misjudging the situation and somehow this turn of events is going to give this person the upper hand rather than you. Um, but I feel like you need to go through it this way. Okay, four seems to be coming up around you a lot. Um, four of cups reversed here, but reversed up here. You're not going to realize this at first. It's like you're not going to realize what this wish actually means. It's like some of you wanted this person to do something, and then they're going to go out and do it, and you're like, you don't know how you're going to feel about it after. And I feel like you're going to be moody about it. We've got the king of cups. It's, it's a Pisces energy. Now, Pisces is moody. Gems, we can be moody as well. Okay, we're ruled by the twins. So we can change moods. We can switch it up very, very quickly here. So I feel like that's going to bring out something here in you. I do. I feel like seven of cups is telling me this. There's going to be a huge shift here. Okay, but in a sense, this Ten of Wands, Ten of Wands reversed, I feel like this is telling me, this is fire energy reversed, and this is telling me that things are going to get easier here for you, which is good. So obviously this is going to make some progress, some movement by the person doing what you want them to do or making this wish come true here for you. Um, it's going to put you in a good place, I feel, but then... You, you, it's like a temporary happiness and then it's taken away. Like you're going to be happy in the moment and then you're going to sort of scratch your head and be like, oh, wait, is this really what I wanted? Or why am I not more happy than what I am? So it's like a fleeting happiness, right? That happens here. And I think it's, it's you may go through this a couple of times. But there are cards here that are doubled up. There could be a Leo involved in the situation. I'm getting Leo and Pisces energy. So who's coming up as the Pisces? Who's coming up as the Leo? Someone's doing something because they're emotionally involved. The other one's doing it just for ego and to have control in a relationship. 
could be your different twins. Maybe one twin is doing it for ego. The other twin is genuinely connecting here in a very emotional way. A lot of reversals here. So there's a lot of things you're unhappy about. A lot of things happening in this connection that you're unhappy about. Someone's not living up to what you want them to be. It's like you you see potential in this person, but they don't see it within themselves. And you can't really make them see it. That's going to come with experience. That's going to come with age. It's going to come with time. And of course, Gemini's, we're so impatient. We don't have time, okay? Time is money. We want to move on to the next person if this doesn't work out for us, right? Um... Okay, you have a couple of nines. Could it be an ending? I don't think so. I'm not seeing a clear, distinct ending. I feel like the situation may linger. So I feel like you're still going to be in touch. You're still going to be sort of um, working through things with this person. But I feel like there's some things that you misjudged about them. Or maybe you thought they have more potential than they actually do. And you need to ask yourself here, are they worthy of being with you? I feel like a lot of you may be questioning this because they are not meeting your needs in one area of your life and you're not too happy you're coming up as the sorry i thought that was the four of swords you're coming up as the five of swords okay you don't want to leave you don't want to leave this gemini you don't want to leave this person oh there you are four of swords reversed i found you so you my dears four four of swords five of swords reversed you don't want to leave. You don't want to walk away from this person. You don't want to take a temporary break. You don't think it's going to do much good. It probably won't. And especially if you're not committed, because if your heart's telling you, you don't want to have the break, you're not going to be committed. You're going to tell this person, let's have a break. Next minute, you're going to message them again and reach out because, you know, it's like this in a match. One twin is telling you to do one thing and then the other is telling you to do something else. And you're a little bit all over the place here and you don't have the strength to cut them off right now. You don't. Or you do, maybe some of you do have the strength. If you do, then great. If you don't, I feel for a lot of you, you don't think it's going to make much of a difference. Um, so I feel like there's some there's some feelings that you need to work through right now to see how you're feeling. I mean, I'm getting mixed messages. You might be getting mixed messages from this person and that's probably complicating things even more um, because we're already so much in our heads like, you know, you'll have 5,000 conversations with yourself in your head and then the conversation you're having with that person. And then they're telling you to just do something and then your heart's telling you to do something, then your mind, and it's just like, you know, this is our minds and the struggle is real. People don't realize how tough it is to be a Gemini sometimes. I don't think we get enough credit um, because it's like we're ruled by the twins. So we've got this dual mind, right? One mind is saying one thing, the other twin is saying something else. So it's like, I don't think people give us enough credit. I really don't. I'm venting here, but I feel, to be honest, these next 48 hours for you, uh, they're a little bit all over the place, I'm not going to lie, um, but I don't see you stepping away from the situation as yet. I feel like one person is in control, the other one's more emotionally attached, and it's important to see which one you are in, gems. I'm going to drop it there, so thanks again for tuning in. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please feel free to subscribe, lots of love, and until next time, bye for now.